We'll have a new mini moon, but only for two months. Asteroid 2024 PT5, which is heading towards our planet, will probably get trapped in its orbit and become a mini moon instead of crashing into Earth's atmosphere and hitting the surface. However, this will be a short lived event. Asteroid 2024 PT5 will probably stay in Earth's gravitational grip for only two months. The asteroid, named 2024 PT5, was discovered on August 7 this year and is about 10 meters in diameter. Two astronomers from the Complutense University of Madrid, Carlos de la Fuente Marcos and Raúl de la Fuente Marcos, studied the object's orbit. They concluded that it will be captured in Earth's orbit for a short period between September 29 and November 25. It will then leave Earth's orbit and continue its journey through the solar system. The results and a description of the study were published in the journal research notes of the AAS. Earth regularly captures a variety of large and small objects from space. They enter highly elliptical orbits around our planet before eventually being ejected and going on their way. For example, in 2006, a small asteroid orbited Earth for about a year. Another orbited Earth for several years before leaving orbit in 2020. In the new study, Spanish scientists looked at a small asteroid that was discovered last month as part of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System program. Previous studies had shown that the asteroid was not on a collision course with Earth, but scientists suspected that it might instead become gravitationally bound to the planet for a while. The observed space rock is small, just 10 meters across. Taking into account its size, speed, and other parameters, scientists managed to calculate its path in the coming months and found that it will get close enough to Earth to be bound by its gravity, but only for a few months. According to the researchers, asteroid 2024 PT5 will orbit Earth once, starting on September 29. It will take it about 57 days. Then, in late November, it will move away from our planet. In other words, for 57 days, Earth will have two moons, one proper and one mini moon, i.e. asteroid 2024 PT5. Unfortunately, spotting the mini moon from the surface will be unlikely. According to NASA's JPL Small Body Database, 2024 PT5 has a very low brightness and will not be visible through most amateur telescopes. In addition to the object's trajectory, scientists were also able to determine its source. They found that 2024 PT5 likely comes from a group of Earth-like asteroids called Arjuna after the protagonist of the Hindu epic Mahabharata. The researchers suggest that asteroid 2024 PT5 will leave Earth's orbit on November 25th but will return to our planet's orbit in January 2025. It will then quickly leave and return again in 2055. Earth may have had a ring system in the past. Australian astronomers suggest that Earth may have had its own ring system, similar to the one we see around Saturn today. According to scientists, it formed around 466 million years ago, and traces of its presence can be seen in impact craters once located near the planet's equator. The idea, proposed by scientists from Australia's Monash University, stems from a reconstruction of the position of tectonic plates in the Ordovician, a period that lasted from 485 to 443 million years ago. From the fossil record, it is known that around 466 million years ago, Earth was hit by many more meteorites, leaving behind impact craters. 
by positioning the Earth's land masses in simulations as they appeared in the Ordovician, the researchers located the locations of 21 craters. All are located within 30 degrees of the equator, which the authors of the study say suggests the existence of a ring or ring system around Earth. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters. Rings are quite common in the solar system. Four gas giants have rings. There is evidence that Mars had them too. This begs the question, could Earth have had a ring system in the past? Australian researchers believe that the impact craters they have found show a pattern that could indicate the existence of a ring or rings made of ice, rock, and dust particles. The scenario they present suggests that about half a billion years ago, a large asteroid encountered Earth. When the space rock passed Earth's Roche limit, it broke apart under the influence of tidal forces, creating a ring of debris around the planet similar to the rings visible today around Saturn and other gas giants. Typically, asteroids hit Earth and other bodies in random places, as can be seen from the evenly distributed impact craters on the Moon and Mars, for example. To investigate whether the distribution of Ordovician impact craters is not random, the researchers first calculated the area of continents capable of preserving Ordovician impact craters. They focused on stable, intact cratons the oldest and hardest parts of the Earth's crust, with rocks older than the middle Ordovician. They identified geologically suitable regions on different continents today, because the Ordovician was a single large continent Gondwana. Western Australia, Africa, the North American Craton, and small parts of Europe were considered well suited for preserving such craters. Only 30% of the suitable land area was considered to be near the equator in the Ordovician, yet all of the Ordovician impact craters were found in this region. According to the authors, a ring, or system of rings slowly disappearing in Earth's orbit fits perfectly with the explanation for the increase in meteorite impacts in the Ordovician. The researchers also point out that the rings did not survive very long, cosmically speaking, for only a few tens of millions of years. But that's enough to have left a permanent mark on Earth's geological record. Over millions of years material from this ring gradually fell to Earth, causing the increase in meteorite impacts seen in the geological record, said lead author Professor Andy Tompkins from Monash University. We also see that layers in sedimentary rocks from this period contain unusual amounts of meteorite debris. This finding is even more intriguing because it could have implications for climate, he added. Scientists speculate that the ring system could have cast a shadow across Earth, blocking sunlight and contributing to significant global cooling. This period, which occurred at the end of the Ordovician, is considered to be one of the coldest in the last 500 million years of Earth's history. The idea that the ring system could have influenced global temperatures adds a new layer of complexity to our understanding of how extraterrestrial events could have shaped Earth's climate, Tompkins said. The implications of this discovery extend beyond geology, prompting scientists to reconsider the broader impact of cosmic events on Earth's evolutionary history. It also raises new questions. Could similar rings have existed at other points in our planet's history, influencing everything from climate to the development of life? This research opens new avenues for studying Earth's past, providing new insights into the dynamic interactions between our planet and the wider cosmos. 888.